Hi, this is Rachel again, and I'm here for another fly tying video. And as you can see, I've already kind of got a fly on the vise. I'll tie that one off and finish that one up. And this is just kind of a pattern spotlight for my favorite pattern, the woolly bugger. I love tying those, and I just kind of want to share it with you. So what you're going to need for this pattern is pretty straightforward. So what you're going to need, one sec, let me get the materials and then I will tell you. What you're going to need is some chenille, like this stuff right here. I use black, but some people use olive, dark olive. I use the feathers at the base of a rooster neck, but some people use the saddles. And then you're going to need your bobbin and bobbin threader, and I'm going to take the orange thread out of the bobbin and put in the black 3-0 monocord, which is what thread you're going to be using for this fly. And then let me make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Oh yeah, that's right, the, crist the crystal flash, black crystal flash. And then checking again, I'm... That's right, lead wire is the underbody piece, pretty much. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to cut a length of lead wire, just a shorter one. Did I forget to tell you what the hook is? Oh yeah, that's right, I kind of did. Anyways, it's a 10, I use a size 10 Dariki hooky dry fly, but some people use different hooks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grasp this tip of the lead wire and just wrap it around this hook like so. Oh yeah, that's right. And there's another material I forgot to put on the list. Marabou. Black marabou. So let me get that out. And marabou is basically huge, gigantic, fuzzy feathers. So... With this, once you have the lead wi wire wrapped on, let me get my hand out of the way to show you what that looks like. Once I finish wrapping, that is. And I'm trying not to rush too much because that it can be hard to see what people are doing. So I've got the lead wire wrapped on. The gray stuff right here is the lead wire. I know it looks more like a band of wire. Well, of thread actually, but you know, it, the thing is, it'll it looks kind of bad when I'm recording because that I don't have the best quality of recorder, but it's a pretty good recorder. But what I found to be a really good one that I can get for free, so it's nice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna thread the bobbin here. I'll bring it up here so that you can see it. And just to da. So, yeah. Then I'm gonna wind some of the thread back in. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. So, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap my thread head. Sorry. So now that I've got a little thread head nub, I'm gonna peel off a bit of the marabou, like so. And I'm going to align it so that the piece that came off the quill is towards my right, I think. Let's see here, yeah, right. Sorry, I have trouble with that sometimes. And I'm going to put it at the edge of the lead wire and wrap a spiral wrap over it. A wide space spiral wrap and then back up to the head. Where I'm going to tie in chenille, or chenille as I call it. 
and I'm going to also put in some moisture hackle. Let me pick that up from the floor. So I'm just going to pluck one of the feathers from the base of my cape, peel off all this shadowy web here. I just tossed it on my floor, but for the meter of you, you're going to want a trash can at your fly tie station. And clip off one to the butt end. Like so. So, see how I've got the bare stem right there? I'll get it see into it. Yeah, just like that. And I'm going to tie in my feather first, actually. And so I'm going to wrap the chenille over it once I have that tied in. To tie in chenille, what you want to do is you want to strip some of the fibers from the end, exposing that bare yarn core. I hope you can see that well enough there. And I'm going to tie it in by that bare yarn core. So, first I'm going to spiral wrap this. Uh, ow! God damn it. Sorry about that. I just poked myself really badly with that hook. And I'm going to wrap spiral wrap over top of the feather. If I can stop bleeding. And then wrap the chenille back. Tie over it with a couple of wraps. And then what I always do is I wrap the feather forward and then back. If But that's because I like thick hackle on it. But you don't have to do that. You can just wrap it in one direction if you would like it thinner. So now I'm going to wrap the thread forward through the hackle and try not to trap any of the fibers to spiral wrap. And then I'm going to complete my thread head with a couple of turns and then tie it off with this whip finisher. Post in the comments if you need if you need any help on any of the techniques used in tying this fly and I will do a video spotlight of those techniques. I will only check the comments occasionally, so if necessary, you can email it to me either through my Gmail. It's pretty simple and straightforward to do that. I'm sure you can figure it out. So, this is our finished fly. I am currently holding it by the tail. So, it just looks like that. Okay, so I will see you guys some other time.